Welcome to MindFusion WinForms tutorial. I am Sarah and I will be your guide. In part three, we will build the line chart on the dashboard. We'll adjust the general settings, the axes, followed by the grid and legend. At the end, we'll talk about the data. We start by dragging a new instance of the line chart control on the dashboard form. Let's adjust the size and location of the control. We use the font name property to set the font for all labels on the chart. In our case, the font is Lucida Sans Unicode. Then we set the outline pen to a shade of gray. Time to set the title. We use Title Offset to lift the title more above the plot area. And we make the font slightly bigger. Let's change the type of the chart only to Line. It's time to set the colors. We use Chart Pens Collection to set the two brushes for the two line series. The first pen is a shade of red, the second shade of gray. They are both four points thick. The straight line in the middle shows the average value. This is summary line and we use summary pens to add the pen for it. The pen is dotted. Let's customize the x-axis. It will be 600 points long. It shows date time values, so we use the data format property to set this. The format of the labels is short date. Let's make the font for the labels one size bigger. The axis has ticks, and we make them five points long. The labels are drawn rotated. We use rotation angle to set this. It's the Y axis' turn. It is 200 points long. We increase the font size of the labels as well. The labels are round numbers. We don't want to show digits after the floating point. The ticks are two points shorter than the ticks of the X axis. We write the title label. Let's move to the grid. The Alt Grid brush sets the color of the alternating grid stripes. We set them to a slight shade of gray. The grid brush sets the color of the grid stripes. In our sample, they are darker gray. We use Grid Pen to draw lines among the grid stripes. Finally, the Grid Type property sets what kind of grid is drawn. Here, we use the horizontal scale. The legend has no border and we align it to the center. Let's increase the font size as well. Time to set the background image. We use the one we've added for the dashboard. 
We set the background image for the plot area as well. Let's see the data for the chart. First, we have added a summary value average to the summary values collection. Here is a method where we read data from the database. We fill two series with the X data and Y data properties. We use the data to calculate the interval and max value for the Y axis. Finally, we calculate the interval for the x-axis, so that there will be six of them. Let's build and run the chart. Looks fine, but the labels of the x-axis are displaced. We need to adjust the label type. We go to the x-axis settings property and change label type to auto scale. Let's run the chart again. Now it looks as it should. You can download the sample from mindfusion.eu slash underscore samples slash property sales dashboard dot zip. Further details about the components from the dashboard can be read at mindfusion.eu slash masterchart.html. Thank you for watching!